Tom here, welcome back to the channel. In this, I'm going to be showing you the simplest way to add polling to Django with HTMX. This is great if you've never used HTMX before, it's going to be really simple. About me, I'm building loads of products and content, and here's a product that I'm building at the moment in alpha app.phonedesigner.com, and it's designed to build UI, particularly Django UI, extremely quickly for you. So you just enter in something like an elegant dashboard like this, and then it will start generating an elegant dashboard for you, fully responsive, which you can then customize or then start use as your template for building. Anyway, let's get into it. So we're going to show you the simplest way to add polling to Django with HTMX. Here we are in our new project, and we're going to set up a Django app. So just copy this in into our terminal. There you go. And then we've created our app, which we're core, and then our app is called Sim. And the standard procedure, so we're going to set up and register Sim by going into Core Settings and then Installed Apps, and then just name it Sim. Sim is just the name that I've decided to give this app, it's the standard name I use. Now, section two, we're going to add the data dashboard. Okay, so we'll add our data dashboard. We're going to be showing new sales and creating sample data. So copy this and then go into our views file here and paste it in. These are all your initial purchases, so our index page. And then this is going to be getting new purchases, which we're going to get as HTML using HTMX, and then insert into our index page as HTML. And you can see we're randomized, creating random fake purchases using Faker, which is a nice library. Great, so we've done that. Now we want to add our templates. So we're going to go to Sim and then create a directory called Templates. And now we're going to add, so we've added our directory, and now we're going to create one file inside it called table rows.html. Careful with the title. Uh, yeah, we'll add it to get, and then copy this in. This will render a table row for each purchase, as you can see. Now we add another template called table row, not table rows, here. Table row.html, which contains our individual table row, just to keep things really neat. And we can actually get rid of that. And then we're going to add our index page, index template. So create another one, another te template in here called index.html, and then paste this in. And you can see, if I make this a bit bigger, you can see that we're showing, including all the table rows with particular purchases, which will render from our view. And now we're going to add, you might think, okay, where's the HTMX? Well, that's coming. But let's add our URLs first. So go into core and then Copy this over the top just to set our top level admin and then include our routing to our app URLs. And then we're going to actually add our app URLs. Go into sim, create a file called urls.py in sim, and paste this in here. And then this gives our two routes, which are the index and then the get new purchases. And that's the route that HTMX will take to get back the HTML with the new purchases. Okay, now we're going to add HTMX. So we can just go back to our views page and then we're going to you see HTMX is there we're loading and you can copy this and paste it over the top and the difference here is now besides we're actually adding HTMX there is that we have this line which will send a get request every two seconds to get new purchases which is our route here which goes to this view and then it will swap that after the beginning of this element which are of our target, which is table body, because we want, so we'll go to this table body and then add them in the beginning for this line and after this line. And yeah, that's a quick explanation. It's, as you can see, it's quite declarative and clear. Okay, so style dashboard. So let's run our server and check it out. So we'll go and now we'll run our server, map Python, oh, let's move my head, python manage.py run server and visit it. And there we go, we've got our unstyled and then we can see that we're randomly new sales are coming in so we've got a sale there computing for speech and language up oh, another one for jewelry designer two more for fine artist and armed forces operation area officer so you get the idea every second it's or every two seconds it's fetching more data on the back end and then with a bit of randomness so you could use this to get real-time data from your back end and keep your front end completely up to date in just tiny number of lines. So if we want to style this to make it look even better, because it looks pretty bad at the moment, because it looks pretty bad at the moment. And we can go to my product photon designer, activate Django mode, and then generate some UI for this. So let's type in, let's go to our index, copy this in, 
and then so sort of just paste it in all that template and say something like generate amazing styling for my sales dashboard and keep all the keep all the HTMX tags in place. And then click generate. See what we get. That's a little bit of a bug there. Just need to put that to get rid of that line. But it looks okay. Okay, so I think we've got we will have something there. Obviously, we can't get our table rows there. We could play around with this if we wanted, make it even better. So we've got, yeah, make it even better. That looks, I think I'll, yeah, it's all right. It's a reasonable start. Let, let's let's try it out. So I just need to change that to HTML. It's like bug there, which I'm fixing. And if we copy it in, paste it over the top, let's see how good it is. And then we go back to our app. And there you go. It, and if we wait a few seconds, perfect. As you can see, there is more, there are more sales coming in. And really we can just we can make this a lot nicer. We can say uh, add really a nice rounding, make it elegant and beautiful. But even if we are, we've got something there which looks better, looks better than before, which we can work with and we can edit from that. But you, you can get a lot better results if you spend a, uh, if you get a better prompt and with Photon Design, you can get some really amazing outcomes. This looks better, it's rounded. Yeah, well, let's try putting that in as well. Um, see there and then, oh, just edit that. And I need to, I'll be fixing this error shortly. And let's try refreshing this on our page. Yeah, cool. It looks better. That's pretty nice. Um, we could, and you can also cho choose your color scheme. So with this, I chose these particular colors. And so then the AI generated it with these colors in a responsive way, but you can customize that. And there are a lot, this is fairly basic, but it gives you the idea of what you can get doing. And yeah, there's some really amazing outcome you can produce. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Besides that, I'm making loads of free Django content weekly, as well as other Python and useful AI guides. Yeah, here are some more videos in the meantime. All the best to you.